<clears throat> okay, so I have a project I'm working on. It's an existing house, and we've added, I'm going to extend the family room out a little bit and put in a pool house uh, with an att uh, attached to the house, uh, the pool house attached to the house. Uh, so uh, I set all of these pieces to existing and then all of these to new. And the there's a built-in gutter and a flashing at the top. And I change the materials only for the rendering so that um, you could the client could see the difference. But uh, we'll use all the same materials. So I don't think I'm a, a bad architect. Okay, I don't know what the proper term would be, but incompetent malpractice. <laughs> but it's all going to be the same color. But anyway, I wanted to do a window schedule. And um, let's see here. So uh, I only want in my schedule to include the new windows, not the existing windows. So it was a bit of a dilemma. Um, so let's see. Now I'm not sure if my plan is showing right now. So I'm going to just share that window real quick to make sure that you can see it. But anyway, there's the plans. Um, and I wanted my window schedule only to include the new windows, because there's plenty of windows in there, but I wanted to filter that out. So uh, what I did was in my comment section, I put something and someone recommended uh, in schedule. So that made sense to me, but I could have just in the comments, basically you can put anything you want. And then I made a window schedule and the window schedule has the type mark, the width and the height. And you can see that it has uh, my comments are in schedule and then my area and then I totaled it. But uh, <clears throat> I don't wanna see that in my schedule. So I simply come up to here, I've got it highlighted and I just say hi. So now it's not part of my schedule. But the way that I got the schedule to filter out because I wasn't able to simply filter by existing or new construction. Maybe this is 2022, maybe 2023 version and later versions will work uh, differently. Or maybe I just simply didn't understand how to, how to do it. But anyway, my workaround or my solution was in the filters. I simply said um, that the filter by the comment section and make sure that anything in the comment section equals in schedule. So when we look at my uh, schedule, well, let's X out of that for a second. Then when you look at my schedule, this is all of the things that I needed, which just, I just need the new windows and the width and the height and also the area, which I use that information for my energy calculation. So anyway, uh, I just uh, had an issue that I had to do a little bit of research on, and I thought I would uh, share that. So uh, let's see. I think um, that would be the end of it, just how to filter out something or filter in something that I wanted, which is the new windows, and not have all of the old windows or the existing windows as part of the uh, schedule and so that works and then if I wanted to uh, see that if I wanted that column because we do need to make in the field section I did need to add uh, let's see here I did need to add a comments field so I added the comments field to the to the section or to the schedule and then when I'm filtering I have that option to filter by all of the different uh, fields that I've selected. And I just simply said, filter the comments field so that the only items that are included in the um, schedule are those which have in the comment section or equals in schedule. And that's how it worked. 